So, I'm here with my friend Sam, who has very good taste in cars, as we can see. In fact, his car is almost identical to my car in a lot of ways. Obviously the colour, uh, model year, everything else. Just a few different options. And we're here to answer the, uh, the, question, the question of all time. Is there a God? <laughs> no, who cares about that question? No, we're here to answer manual transmission versus dual clutch transmission which is really the main difference between these two cars and uh, i'm very interested to drive sam's car to to feel what the man tr manual transmission is like but before we get onto that i think we'll uh we'll do a quick tour of your car and have a look at some of the changes you've made to it because you've made some interesting sure black grills yep black your, your car is 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 definitely meaner looking than mine <laughs> because of the black wheels the the black grills Mm -hmm. Have you got tints on these windows as well? I do. For the uh, record, yeah. they're legal. They're legal, uh, yep. Legal tints. Um, uh, 15 millimeter spacers. Yep. 15 millimeter spacers. The black here. Oh, and this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You've, Painted, ta uh, you've taken out the, the front reflector. Well, this, is, this is what it looks like on my bog standard car. So you can see Sam's car is so much more mean. <laughs> and anything else that we should be aware of? Man, yeah, it just looks so... I think that's about it. It's mostly cosmetic. For yeah, now. it's a, it's the stealth M4, <laughs> and of course on the inside you've got the black leather and the manual transmission. Very cool. Whereas on my car, we have the Silverstone leather and the dual clutch transmission and the doggy. What is this dribble here, Tui? Must you dribble in my car? <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the transmission for a minute because there's a lot to be said for and against the dual clutch transmission. Uh, first of all, uh, I read somewhere, and I don't know whether this is true or not, but I believe the number is uh, only one manual transmission gets sold for every nine, sorry, for every ten uh, uh, dual clutch transmissions on the M4s, the M3s, and that I can kind of bear that out because you know when we had the meet up on the weekend, we had. I don't know, eight M3s and M4s there, and yours was the only yeah. one with the manual transmission. <laughs> uh, so the, the dual clutch is certainly the more popular one, and you know, there's, there's a lot to be said for the dual clutch transmission. It is faster. Um, we're gonna do a little test of that. We might do a little drag race <laughs> just to prove that out, but naturally it probably would be faster because it's doing those instant changes and it's got an extra ratio to work with as well. Uh, obviously they have better fuel efficiency because they change up the gears and you know they're just better at managing the gears than, than a human would be remembering to always change up. Um, as I said before they've got an extra ratio to seven speeds as opposed to six. Tui, enough of the panting. <laughs> uh, and of course you get launch control. Um, uh, plus you get the, the extra driving modes, you get the um, you get the, the ability to change the, the performance of the shifter both in automatic mode and in um, sport mode, which is the manual mode. So there's a lot of great things about the dual clutch, but of course there's a good argument for the manual transmission as well. First of all, it's $3,000 cheaper, which is not an ins in insignificant amount of money. Um, you don't have the stupid P mode. My biggest annoyance with this car is that I can never get this car into park, and when you can't get it into park, you can't lock the car. So with the manual, you can always lock the car. You've never had trouble locking your car, have you? <laughs> Haven't had trouble. No, so that stupid manual uh, park mode with the dual clutch is so annoying. Um, and of course, uh, the two biggest things with the manual transmission is that you don't get the constant, you got an automatic? How did you get an automatic? And you have to explain to them it's not an automatic, it's a dual clutch transmission and no one really understands and uh, it's annoying. But of course, the, the biggest thing with manual transmission is that it's a more engaging transmission. You're working with the car and ch managing the gears. And when I drive Sam's car, I'm going to be very interested to see uh, how much of a difference that makes with the overall driving experience and whether or not uh, maybe I should have got a manual transmission all along. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the car for a quick spin and then we're going to switch, switch over. I'm going to drive his car and he's going to drive mine. And we're both going to give our candid views on, uh, on, on each other's transmissions. So we'll get started on that now. Perfect. Okay, we're looking pretty clear. Let's go for a rolling start. I'm going to be in and drive. Okay. You ready? 
Oh, from here? Okay. <laughs> oh man, this launch is going to be awful. Okay. You ready? One, on three. One, two, three. than I thought I would. I think yeah, I yeah, did a good job. Shifted a little early on uh, on second gear. I was just too busy staring yeah. at that camera and not my tank. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you find the jaw clutch? Still, still gotta get a little bit more feeling of it, but um, it's definitely, it's definitely very smooth. Yeah. It's strange driving one of these cars without a third pedal. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> but when you really get into it, and then uh, it bangs up a gear, it's much faster than I can do it. I'll tell you that. You know, you can, you can really adjust how this transmission's going to work. Yeah, it really bangs it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so do the same thing, but in manual mode now. So slow right down for the next straight, and then bang through the... So I put it in manual mode for you, and you can feel how how it bangs when it's in this mode, how mm. it bangs through the gears as well. So that'll, that'll, it won't change for you now. You have to change with the paddles. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that's quite it a It really kick. kicks, doesn't it? Yeah. It's amazing that I'm surprised with the kick because I have the same car, but yeah, it's, it's a nice quick kick. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to give launch control a try, and we've been a bit unsuccessful with this so far, so let's give it another try now. The key to launch control is you've got your foot on the brake, uh, you're in manual mode, you're in the most aggressive gear change mode, and the traction control has to come all the way off. Now you put your foot on the left hand, left hand foot on the brake, and right hand foot mash the gas. Ah, we're there. So now you can adjust with the cruise control how fast you want to launch. So maybe you actually bring it down because if you launch at 3,000, it just gets squealy and out of control. So bring it down a little bit. Yeah, and, and when you're ready, you just let your foot off the brake and the craziness begins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I started off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what's interesting, of course, is that it's in manual mode, but it still changes. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, a real kick in the, real kick in the rear. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on the dual clutch compared to the manual? The launch control is, is definitely uh, very impressive. Yeah. Uh, as far as day to day, um, I, I, I can see the advantages to both, but personally I just feel a little bit more connected to, to my car when I have a manual transmission. Yeah, I, I think I'll feel the same way. Okay, so now we're in Sam's car and we're going to give the manual transmission a try. Well, I'm going to give the manual transmission a try. Um, before we get going, I you know, just wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between er the ergonomics of the cars. You know, this, the, the manual transmission is actually a pretty short throw. And it's nice and clicky, you know, exactly where it's going. And I like the look of it more than the, that silly little M knob that you have with the jaw dual clutch as well so overall I think the ergonomics are better about the the manual as well six speed of course instead of the seven speeds in the in the dual clutch and as a very uh, special um, event <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sam is allowed Tui in the back of his car as well and so the French Bulldog air freshener <laughs> the French Bulldog yeah <laughs> leaving her scratches and fur all over your car we appreciate you know, Sam's car is very new by the way he has uh, less than 2,000 miles on it so it's a it's pretty nice of him to be allowing <laughs> stinky Tui in the back of his special car occasion. special occasion okay let's drive the manual oh okay okay let's give that a try so first thing I notice with the manual is that you get this little 
arrow between where show, showing what gear you're in, but also there's a little arrow there when I change sometimes. Yeah, so it's saying up to sixth. What does that mean? Is this the most economical mode if you go up to the sixth gear? Yeah, I think it's offering suggestions if you want to oh, yeah. like a grandma. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm in sport and throttle response, comfort in uh, the dampener and uh, sport for steering. So it should rev match if I change down you now, right? And do it as fast as you can and it'll yep. blip and match rest for you. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Well, it's such a nice gearbox, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, I was coming from an E39 M5, and yeah. I have to say, this, this gearbox is, is night and day better. Now, um, some, something that a friend of mine said to me recently was that I shouldn't get a manual transmission because I hold the gear lever like a man's penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very soft grip. Yeah, I got a very soft grip. So that's good to know. That's good to know. Should go down. Look at that. Yeah. So if you drop it down, uh, if you drop it down into um, you know even like a six four or a six to a three, yeah. it'll rev match perfectly each time. It's not just when you drop. One. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it really adds something to the driving experience, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. So, anything else about the manual you think I should know? It's, I mean, it's a manual transmission that's got rev matching. Yeah. It's, it's pretty base, pretty straightforward, isn't it? Pretty straightforward. Just, um, it doesn't rev match in Sport Plus mode. So, yeah. if you prefer to to uh, handle that yourself, you can. Oh. So, my conclusion is for dual clutch transmission versus manual transmission you know there's a lot of advantages to having a dual clutch transmission uh, you know in a way you're getting the best of both worlds you're getting better fuel efficiency you're getting launch control you're getting all the neat features that you get with dual clutches but there's just a little bit more fun to be had with a manual transmission and at the end of the day that's why we buy these cars is for maximum fun and so I'd actually give it to the manual transmission as, as, as the better <laughs> transmission. And if I was to buy this car again, I think I'd get the manual because it just brings out a little bit more driver involvement. And really that's what a, driving an M car is all about. So yeah, I, I, I hate to break it to all the <laughs> dual clutch transmission owners of which I am as well, but I think the manual transmission just has the edge in these cars. It's just a little bit more fun. Left foot on the gas. Okay. On, on the brake, sorry, and the right foot on the gas. Okay. See whether it goes in. Mash it. Oh, it gets squirrely. <laughs> it gets really <laughs> messy really quickly. So it never seems to bother Tui that we're. Uh... <laughs> yes. Look at Tui. <laughs> <as fast as we're. laughs> Look at Tui. Tui, wake up. We're driving fast. Are you interested? No. <laughs>